going on YouTube? Wild Creator one here bringing you a tutorial for an add-on called LUI. It's a user interface um, add-on. So let's get started. We're going to create a new character and we'll just pick a panda or pandaren. And let's just create a monk. Let's randomize his name. Alright, so when you first are going to um, install this add-on, and when you log on, you're going to have this. So obviously you want to hit install. Now, once you did this, everything's, um, everything is on, like this is the, what the UI looks like. It's, I really like it. It's really clean. But alright, so if you want to edit the UI and you want to make things bigger, smaller, move things around, you have to type in slash LUI. And that will bring this up. And I know it's really small, small, but you can uh, fix that later. All right, so th some um, add-ons come with this, like Bartender, Grid, Recount, Omen, and Forte, Exorcist, whatever that is. I don't use that one. I always have it disabled. But the first things first, we're going to go. We're going to go to Modules, and right here, this is like if you want your uh, cooldown. Um, no, that's a bad idea. Or that's a bad uh, uh, example. The mini map. All right. So if you want to disable the mini map, you just click this, and then the mini map will go away. I'm not going to, but if you want the mini map to go away, that's all you do, and that's f for all of these. Like the chat, you can disable and enable the chat. Same with the tooltip, which I know I get annoyed with the tooltip, but that's just me. All right. The these are just your buffs. If you want to change the sizes, obviously. Um, here we'll go, not really many, you can't even tell because I don't have any buffs because I'm only a level 1, so that's, that, you'll be able to figure that out on your own, that's pretty easy. I'm just going to go over the basics, um, the bags, alright, so, my bags are down here, I know it's hard to see, but you can, oh, you can always just move that around, um, and if you want to make the, the spaces between the, or the I don't even know what that is that just makes it bigger but this makes more you can make it longer for the items per row bag spacing that makes these um, the space between those um, bigger the bag bar size that's for where um, your actual bags are and you can make that bigger and this frame size which is the whole frame itself you can make that bigger or smaller <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go to bars, and you can keep the, um, like you can disable the UI's bars, or um, keep it, just, whoops, just if you want um, the blizz the old blizzard bars, or these ones, and I prefer these ones. So I'm go back in, go to bars, and, alright, so you have this tab over here, and these are all your action bars, so if this action bar is already enabled see it says show action bar and you can do that for all these I'll hit another one there you go there's your third and say if you want to move this this bar up and down you do the vertical position and you just slide this to your preference and then for horizontal obviously sideways um, the scale of the bars I usually keep mine around 125 percent or 120 percent that's just me you can keep them freaking as small as you want but that's just for creating space I guess um, buttons per row obviously gonna change that numbers of buttons actually I didn't even know you could do that until now because I never really messed with that um, yeah that's just the basics for the bars um, let's go back to the bars um, the vehicle exit button that will show up when you're in a vehicle obviously extra action bar so over here and you just click this for it to pop up and if I wanted to move something here let's, let's put that and it pops up and then there you go that's what that is I really like that feature where it just comes out like that alright let's go back in and we're gonna go to chat I have definitely messed with my chat before um, obviously you can change the font right here I'm just going to keep it Arial Narrow, and the outline, that's just for the text, it's 
pick outline, outline, and then none at all. Usually I just have mine none at all. And the edit box, that's where you type in. I usually have mine bigger so I can see it. And usually about, um, actually all the way. And then the button, or not the buttons, um, um, the size. You can, um, change the font size of the chat box. It's right here. I usually have mine all the way also, same with the edit box. Alright, that's f it for the chat. When you enter trade chat, the box will appear over here. So that's why it's not there now, because obviously I'm not in a town. I'm at the Pandaren starting area. Alright, now for the mini-map. Um, th it's really simple. There's not many things that you can change on it. I mean, you can do the textures. Those are the little things up here. Um, you can do the border, which is that little dark thing around the map. And I always have my always show mini map text so you can see where you are and it gives you the latitude and longitude, I think that's what it is, or coordinates or whatever. And obviously you can change the size of the map all the way to that big. I usually keep mine around there or there. You can change the font size of the map and that is in the font tab, obviously. And I'm usually keep mine around there and uh, you can change the font okay now for the nameplates alright so we're gonna move this you just click on the LUI thing right at the top so you can move this around and this is our nameplate right there there are many different options for the nameplates and you can auto hide nameplates auto show nameplates all that kind of stuff and then the font obviously you can change the font size let's just mess with that we'll make it 20 and you have to hit OK for it to take effect and there we go, it made made uh, this bigger. Alright, so for many of you knowing or wanting to know what the swing timer is, that's when you're attacking something. And um, here we go, we'll attack this down here. And it should pop up. It's this little green bar that's going across. And that gets really annoying, especially for my first time um, using this UI add-on. This came up and I had no idea what it was, so I had to ask somebody. And so every time you swing, that's what this bar is uh, indicating. To disable that, you go to your backed up to modules, and it says swing right here. And if you just hit disable, it disables it, and now it won't be there. It's not there. And this little green bar down here is actually your threat bar. Now for the threat bar, obviously I just talked about that. The threat bar is down here. If you want to disable that, go back up to modules, and there you go. The threat is disabled. Now for the tooltip, um, here we're going to move this over, and that's the thing to the right where it says training target. We can move this, um, I usually like mine negative 400, which will move it out to the left, so now it will be there. It doesn't move much, like you have to punch in some pretty high numbers to make it move pretty far, and obviously the Y value will make it go up and down, and the X value will make it go side to side. Alright, one of the main things that took me a while to learn about this UI add-on is how to move my unit frames, which is like my nameplates and the boss frame and all that kind of stuff. So you go down to unit frames right below tooltip and you hit move unit frames and this will allow you to do anything with all these. You can move all this stuff to your preferences. I'm just kind of moving my stuff around to show you guys. Something that I forgot to... Um, show you guys was this info text tab in um, the LUI it's what controls the size of these um, numbers up here like they're your bags your armor the frames per second all that kind of stuff up there and um, to ha so how you change the size of those is alright so you cl click on info text and over here on the right this is drop down box and this is this allows you to change the size of this so if you wanted to change the size of the bags where it says bags 2 out of 16 you whoops um you go to bags and then you hit the size and so you can make it bigger see um i usually keep mine just so it's inside this little bar right here so that is what 19 and to do that for the rest of them, you do the same exact thing, 
and that's gonna make the clock size over here bigger down here I never really mess with anything here unless you really want to get into um, some detail with your um, UI and make it really unique so you can change all your different colors and all this kind of stuff I don't really mess with it because um, quite frankly I don't want to screw anything up because I like how my UI is so that's basically it guys if you have any questions um, please let me know in the and comment comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can thanks for watching guys please stay tuned and subscribe see ya